Zavala will soon be giving out god rolls like an RNG Jesus. The Twab last week dropped some sweet changes to Trials, making it not so shit to get adept weapons. Exotic class items, drop rates have become much more tasty, and cheaters are now getting the bungee boot. So here's a short and sweet update on everything you need to know this week about life in Destiny 2. If the RNG gods weren't kind to you when you could fully attune drop rates for Into the Light Brave weapons when they were dropping from Onslaught, then here's your chance as Savala gets a brand new menu edition. After update 8.0.5, in a few weeks I think, you can now set a specific Brave weapon to attune with a 60% drop rate for Onslaught. Maybe you can now get that shiny ornament drop you've always wanted? Maybe. Farming exotic class items from overthrow chests has been a pain in the absolute hole lately. So Bungie have heard you and increased their drop rates. This will drop in early August. So when people say that Bungie don't listen, uh, they're just plain wrong, in this case anyway. Here's everything you need to know about PvP changes that might get you started into PvP again, or maybe not, who knows. Let's start with Trials. It's now easier to get loot in Trials but it's still a sweaty. The card system in general is now more forgiving for multiple losses and won't reset your wins as much as they used to, so you should be picking up the Perseverance card if you want to get Adept weapons. You get more rank points for playing, so you can easier get those Adept loots. If you can get a three-person fire team together, losses do not remove wins, so go grab the Persistence card. Go play some Crucible, as you will be the richer for it. End of game match rewards give you more glimmer, enhancement cores, and crucible engrams. Also, you'll start seeing Javelin 4, Endless Veil vale more often, while less favoured maps like Disjunction and Cathedral Dusk will be dialed back. Dead Cliffs is temporarily out for a bit of a rework. Bungie is coming after those motherfuckers that leave PvP matches a lot and ruin it for everyone else, so that's good news. I'm sure you've been brutalized in PvP by the dominance of Threat of Spectre and Swarm Grenades in matches. So they're getting nerfed to tone down their absolute dominance in PvP. Clash, that mode we all love to hate. The score you need to win in PvP game mode Clash has been reduced so matches can be completed in under eight minutes. If you love tribute mode in Iron Banner, then I'm sorry, but it seems that you're in the minority. I know, I will opt out of it for normal control when I have the option, but tribute mode is temporarily gone as Bungie makes it less shit working on things like refining bank locations and ensuring kills provide points. So currently Iron Banner will rotate through control, fortress and eruption modes, and you will get a lot more loot for matches here too. That's all the changes I took from the 12 last week, and it seems we won't see these for a few weeks. Damn. I'm Neff, and if there's anything interesting enough in the 12 this week, I'll be back for the same short and sweet updates. Like, comment, and follow. You know the drill, right?